Hello students, uh, today we are going to study pharmacology of uh, leukotriene receptor antagonist namely Montelukast and Zafilukast and uh, lipoxygenase inhibitors that is uh, Xylutin. Now uh, the pharmacology has been covered in the video on anti-asthmatic drugs part 6. Now as we all know asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease of uh, respiratory tubes uh, that carry air to and from the lungs. And uh, leukotrienes are inflammatory mediators that play a major role in the pathogenesis of asthma. Now leukotrienes are synthesized in large quantities uh, in cells like mast cells and eosinophils. Now uh, let's classify leukotriene uh, modifiers. Uh, leukotriene modifiers are of two types. Uh, the first uh, type is the leukotriene antagonist. And these drugs, uh, they competitively antagonize cystinyl leukotriene 1 receptors located on uh, bronchial, bronchial smooth muscles and airway tissue. Examples are Montelukast and Zafilukast. Second type of drugs are 5-lipoxygenase uh, inhibitors that inhibit the enzyme 5-lipoxygenase. Uh, and uh, thereby they inhibit synthesis of uh, leukotriene B4 and uh, cystinyl leukotrienes. Uh, the drug is uh, Xylutin. Now let's study how leukotrienes are synthesized in the mast cells and eosinophil. Now this diagram depicts uh, phospholipid membrane of mast cells and eosinophil. Uh, a ratchetionic acid uh, is uh, uh, asterified in the phospholipid membrane. Now inflammatory stimuli like dust particles, fumes, pollens activate phospholipase A2 that releases uh, a ratchetionic acid from the phospholipid membrane. Uh, then 5-lipoxygenase enzyme converts uh, a ratchetionic acid into uh, leukotriene A4 which is an unstable epoxide. Now in the cells like neutrophils, Leukotriene A4 is converted to leukotriene B4, while in the mast cells and eosinophils, leukotriene A4 is converted into uh, uh, leukotriene C4, leukotriene D4, and leukotriene E4, that is a, a cystinyl leukotrienes. Now, these cystinyl leukotrienes bind to cystinyl leukotriene 1 receptors on the surface of bronchial smooth muscles and other tissues, and they cause bronchoconstriction. Uh, that is the cardinal symptom of asthma. These leukotrienes, uh, they increase the production of mucus. They are also responsible for increasing the vascular permeability. And they also increase uh, recruitment of uh, eosinophils which further enhances the inflammation. Now important to know is this that uh, Montelukast and Zafilukast are cystinyl leukotriene 1 receptor antagonist. They inhibit binding of leukotriene C4, D4 and E4 to their receptors and thereby inhibit action of uh, leukotriene C4, D4 and E4. Whereas uh, xylutin is 5-lipoxygenase inhibitor and inhibits the synthesis of uh, cystinyl leukotrienes as well as leukotriene B4. Now important uh, to note over here is this that uh, uh, aspirin uh, that is acetyl salicylic acid blocks the enzyme cyclooxygenase. It uh, blocks the cyclooxygenase metabolic breakdown of uh, a ratchetionic acid to uh, prostaglandins and uh, therefore larger uh, amounts of ratchetionic acids are directed for the synthesis of leukotrienes and so large amount of leukotrienes may be synthesized in the patients uh, who are taking um, aspirin and this results in aspirin induced asthma. Now Montelukast and Zafilukast are very useful uh, in the treatment of aspirin induced asthma. Now let's talk about uh, important characteristic features of leukotriene antagonist and 5-lipoxygenase inhibitors. Now as we have already discussed uh, uh, with the help of diagram. Montelukast and Zafilukast competitively antagonize cystinyl leukotriene 1 receptors and thereby they prevent binding of leukotriene C4, D4, E4 to cystinyl leukotriene 1 receptors on bronchial smooth muscles and airway tissues. Uh, this we have already seen with the help of the diagram. And therefore, uh, these drugs 
they induce bronchodilation, reduce sputum, uh, they reduce the eosinophil count and uh, thereby they suppress the bronchial inflammation and they also suppress the bronchial hyperreactivity. Uh, the next category is the 5 lipoxygenase inhibitors. The example is the uh, Xylutin. Uh, this drug blocks uh, leukotriene C4, D4, E4 and leukotriene B4 synthesis. Uh, again, uh, this has been uh, clearly depicted in the diagram. Talking about the pharmacokinetics, all the three drugs that is Montelukast, the Felukast and Xylutin, uh, these are orally active. Uh, these are extensively metabolized in the liver. And uh, when we talk about the plasma half-life, uh, the plasma half-life of Monte Lucas is 3 to 6 hours, the field Lucas is 8 to 12 hours, and Xyluted, uh, the plasma half-life is 2 hours. Now, talking about therape therapeutic uses, Xylutin is uh, seldom used. It is uh, rarely used because of the hepatotoxic potential and very short half-life. Talking about the therapeutic uses of leukotriene receptor antagonist, now these drugs, they suppress the uh, bronchial inflammation. Uh, they show no direct bronchodilatory effect and these drugs are used as add-on therapy. They are used as adjuvants. They are used in combination with low or moderate doses of inhaled corticosteroids. Uh, these are used as adjuvants uh, along with the inhaled corticosteroids to reduce the doses of inhaled corticosteroids. Uh, these are moderately effective in aspirin-induced asthma as we have already discussed uh, while discussing the diagram and uh, uh, they are also moderately effective in exercise-induced asthma. And uh, these drugs are also indicated uh, in the prophylactic therapy of mild to moderate asthma. Now talking about the adverse effects, uh, leukotriene receptor antagonists are safe drugs. Uh, however, they produce side effects like headache and rashes. Uh, since they are metabolized in the liver, uh, they can elevate, elevate uh, serum trans transaminases and uh, eosinophilia and neuropathy are also seen but uh, uh, these are rare incidences. So this is in brief about the pharmacology of uh, leukotriene modifiers and their role in the management of asthma. Now if you find the video useful kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Now very important to note that this video is meant only for the educational purpose. And uh, thanks for watching the video.